Welcome back to our coverage. Now, Carlos Ghosn speaking for the first time at his press conference here in Beirut. He talked a great deal about why he'd come to Lebanon. Well, I asked him, bearing in mind he can't leave Lebanon, he's stuck here whether he likes it or not, was leaving Japan really escaping? It might seem to some that you've substituted a very small cell in Japan for a much larger one here in Lebanon, where you can't go anywhere, you can't leave the country, uh, you and your wife are both at risk. Would you go to France? Would you even risk getting on a plane to go to France, even though the minister there has said you would not be extradited? Yeah. Well, uh, as you know, um, there is a red notice uh, that the Japanese government has sent through Interpol. Uh, my lawyers say we can fight the red notice, and particularly we can eliminate the red notice if we can explain our case, particularly if it's considered as a political case. They are more competent than me to tell you what's going to happen. But obviously, first, I don't consider myself as a prisoner in Lebanon. I'm very happy to be here, I can tell you. And I prefer this prison to the one where I was before, as you can imagine. Mike. Michael Zeldin's with me, former federal prosecutor and a CNN legal analyst. He joins me now from Washington. Michael, let's put aside for a moment, um, as a prosecutor, uh, your thoughts on him uh, escaping this particular way. The Japanese legal system, as put forward by Carlos Ghosn today, does seem particularly draconian. Is it much worse than, say, being locked up at Rikers Island in New York? Well. Assuming one is locked up in Rikers Island pending trial because they couldn't make bail, there's still a judicial and legal system that presumes innocent, innocence, that allows you to cross-examine witnesses, to have a trial in court. The Japanese system really is geared toward confession and pleas. And they do not have the same presumptions of innocence. They do not have the same right to counsel. They can be you know, interviewed by police and prosecutors for hours and hours on end without representation. So there is no comparison between the rights a Rikers Island detainee right. has and a Japanese detainee. So, Michael, do you consider uh, Carlos Ghosn to be a, free, a fugitive who should be returned to Japan to face trial? Well, it's hard to understand exactly what is at the bottom of the allegations. He says that he's essentially being framed and blamed for the failure of, of Nissan and the efforts to have um, Renault take over the, the combined organization. They say he stole and misappropriated assets. So we don't know really what the truth of the matter is. But he surely is a fugitive from justice as Japan calls justice. But whether or not he's appropriately um, a, 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 a defendant, if you will, in, in, a, in a case is very hard to assess, Richard, from this standpoint. Right. Right. And this is the difficult part here, because Japan says defendant Gone should be returned, that different countries have different legal systems, so be it, but theirs, in their view, is fair. Now, he's a prisoner in uh, not prison. He, he's in Lebanon, but is effectively a prisoner within the country in that he can't leave. Leban the Lebanese don't extradite their own citizens. And then you've got Interpol with the red notice. So it's a true international legal mess. How do you resolve it? Well, if you're him, you stay in Lebanon. I, I mean, it's sort of like Snowden in, in Russia. Snowden can't leave Russia because there are red notices out and if he were to go to a country where he can be apprehended, then he could be provisionally arrested and theoretically extradited. Same situation here. So really he has to expect, unless the Japanese prosecutors reach a settlement with him or drop the charges, that he's going to spend the rest of his natural life in Lebanon because that's the only safe place for him to be. Michael, thank you for the insight into Japan, Japan's system. Thank you. We appreciate it.